Strength training undeniably improves running performance, but in the middle of an intense training plan, who has the time? So I went through the research, uncovered 23 exercises shown to benefit running performance, and then with my clinical reasoning, boiled everything down to just four exercises. But even if four exercises is too much, I went even further and listed the best two exercises and then for when moments are really tough, just one exercise you can do to run faster. I quickly ruled out machine-based exercises and core exercises. As the research says, free weights would benefit runners more. In addition, research generally promotes heavy strength training, but does recommend some plyometrics to increase effectiveness. So I narrowed down my plyometric exercise to the drop jump. My decision was based on this paper, which improved running efficiency by 7% compared to controls. For the heavy strength exercises, I added the half squat rather than the full squat, so you can apply more weight by lowering the load on the back and knees. For the single leg variation, I chose the split squat, and for the calves, a double leg bent knee calf raise. But before I reveal my more refined workouts, let me walk you through exactly how to implement these four exercises in the most efficient way possible. Do a one minute warm up full of bodyweight squats, lunges, and jumping, and then do one set of eight drop jumps, dropping from whatever height achieves your highest jump possible. Then straight away go into six split squats on each side before resting for two minutes and repeating three more rounds. Then move on to eight reps of half squats keeping the thighs above parallel, and then one set of 10 calf raises, followed by a two minute rest and repeating this three more times. This whole routine only took me 25 minutes. I'll talk about how to progress and structure these into your week when I get to my efficiency tips, but let's filter this down to two exercises for when you are really crunched for time. The one exercise I want to leave in are the split squats because they still work your glutes, quads, and hamstrings. However, with the calf strength being important for running efficiency, I decided to replace drop jumps with plyometric jumps, which has been shown to deliver great results. This time, after your one minute warm up, you're going to do one set of split squats only on the right side, and then do 10 seconds of quick, powerful jumps before then switching to the left side and doing another 10 seconds of jumps followed by a two minute rest. After four rounds, you should have completed eight sets of jumping, which aligns with the research. This workout only took me 15 minutes. Before I reveal my number one exercise, which is different from any other exercise we have discussed yet, I want to share some quick tips to enhance your efficiency. The first is to use heavy weights and fewer reps. Not only is heavy strength training superior for running performance, but you'll get great adaptations with fewer reps while only performing these twice per week. The other efficiency hack is to replace your two minute rest with an upper body exercise of choice. If you are running four or more times per week, have one dedicated strength day and one combined with a short, easy run. To maximize your gains, do your run in the morning and the strength training in the afternoon, which has been shown to help strength adaptations. Progress your exercise by adding more weight to your heavy exercises while keeping the reps low and progress the plyometrics by shortening your contact time and increasing the jump height. But a word of warning, while we are trying to be as efficient as possible, don't reduce your rest period. The rest is crucial for recovery so you can execute heavy sets with good quality. In fact, as your strength exercises get heavier, rest periods may need to be up to five minutes, which you can supplement with more upper body exercises. Progressing through this protocol for six to 10 weeks will have you running faster and more efficiently. And I can already tell if you've made it this far into the video, you are no ordinary runner and want the right knowledge to run smarter and safer. But it's not just about knowing the right information. It's about following through. And sadly, most runners don't. In fact, 80% of you watching may face an injury in the next year by not implementing what you learn. So let's break that cycle and make a commitment to train smarter, starting with two simple actions. The first, hit subscribe and let Run Smarter information fill your feed. And second, comment I pledge to run smarter and join the Run Smarter Scholars on this journey. 
Make this commitment today and start running smarter, faster, and injury free. Now let's reveal exactly what I would do if I only had time to do one exercise. It is walking lunges. This will work all the muscles of the split squat, but incorporate a little bit more calf work. Three sets of six on each side will suffice with a two minute rest. This should take you about eight minutes. Now that you have saved time training smarter, it's important that you are efficient with your recovery strategy. A lot of people spend time stretching and using massage guns, but do they really stack up in the research? You'll walk away with the best recovery strategy after watching this next video.